Hello, my name is Trey, and welcome to What Can I Change? I just wanted to talk about an interesting subject that has to do with Blair. Let's talk about it. Everyone's paycheck coming in. And the fact that people don't see that, I mean, is just wild to me. I'm like, wow, okay. So people think everyone's just doing this for free. Okay. You know, but even that big right, gay marriage, that wasn't something that actually affected trans people because if you change your, you know, legal sex and gender on your paperwork, which was something that was available in many states even before gay marriage was passed, trans people could always get married. And, you know, there was never an issue with trans people using bathrooms until people made it an issue, until, you know, it became this political football. Trans people were always using bathrooms. So for the most part, actually, beyond people just not having a great understanding of the tea, there weren't that many things lacking as far as their rights. In fact, I don't know. I've always been able to buy a house, buy a car, have a job. Like, what are these rights I'm missing? I'd Please inform me. So if the LGB separates from the TQ, I'm not losing any sleep because I don't consider myself part of any group anyways. I'm Blair White, I'm one person. We is not my pronoun. And in fact, how about we just ban the whole thing entirely? Because the fact that people that consider themselves to be individuals like myself still receive to some extent like a collectivist blame for the bad behaviors coming out of any one of the letters because make no mistake, even though there's a lot of bad stuff happening from the TQ, all the drag queen story hours, I know that, you know, a lot of YouTube channels when they do videos about it, like to put, you know, the word trans and then use a thumbnail picture of a drag queen, but 99% of those drag queens, you know, being inappropriate around kids are from the G. Those are gay men, those are not trans people. So make no mistake, everyone's kind of making everyone look bad. So how about we all disband and learn to just be individuals and speaking for ourselves? And I think that would actually be the best thing for the community and the world. But let's see what people- All right, so here's my thing about the disband. Listen, I told you about the LGBT and how I don't understand but obviously they've turned themselves into a cult and I said that it was hard to people are like trying to defend it and I said at this point it's just to this point where I feel like there's no coming back now Blair does make a good point talking about trans being not not being drag queens and being gay men I may have sometimes done that um, I normally do say drag queens are men right but I think I may have done that here and there and I try not to, but sometimes, you know, it just gets confusing because you don't know who is what in all these times. So I do agree that drags are normally gay men. Now back to the disband. I have to agree. I think at this point, the group can just, why don't we just be individuals? I told you guys about the story when I was talking to somebody and I asked them because they considered themselves lesbian. And I said, do you consider yourself part of the LGBT? And they were like, no, I don't want to put myself in a group. I am what I am. I don't need to be associated with such things. And I think that is what's going on now, because what we have seen with the LGBT is it's turned from being about who do you like, right? Who do you want to, who you're sexually or romantically attracted to? It has turned from that into this kink fetish thing that we see all the time at every pride. Pride, Paris pride, Berlin pride, our pride here in America. They just turn into this weird kink fetish kind of thing where it makes no sense anymore. So I'd have to agree at this point. I think everybody should just go to separate ways. I don't think there needs to be a group anymore to where they have to feel like they have to uh, fly this rainbow flag or do all this stuff and have to have their own little tight knit group and everything i don't feel like at this point that it's even necessary if you just want to be those things or call yourself gay lesbian okay that's cool but as far as making yourself the lgbt and all this other stuff yeah you can just go ahead and get rid of all that just be what you are live your life as who you are and what you believe you should be obviously you know obviously i have a different take on this stuff but at the same time i don't think it should be part of a cult and it shouldn't be this way I think it's time to move forward and just let all this stuff go. Now, obviously, I'm saying that not being part of the group, and I understand saying that, that this would, um, for other people who really put themselves in this group and really tie themselves to this group, this is their whole identity, obviously, they're going to have some pushback. I will say this. Just be careful. When you want to connect yourself to a group such as this, just be careful putting your whole life and everything and your identity into this. Because at the end of the day, this group really doesn't do anything. 
I mean, they've done great things, but I mean, at this point, this group doesn't really have anything that, man, if you were to disband yourself or disassociate with themselves, that it would really affect your life because it really wouldn't. You would just live your life as a lesbian, gay, or bisexual person, and that would just be your life until things change or whatever thing happen. So I just don't see a point of being having an undying love for a group that clearly no longer cares about your sexuality. It's more about it's more about money. It's more about um, letting certain people have certain agendas and letting people make. Um, have some form of control by making you think a certain way and if you don't think a certain way they're against you i think you just have to continue to live this life and make sure that you don't ever tie yourself to such a group and if you are part of this group and you consider yourself part of the lgb or the lgbt or whatever i think you should just start thinking maybe this group isn't as beneficial to me as i once thought it was and i'll just start being myself y'all let me know what y'all think goodbye